Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Super Tower Rush. As mentioned in like 30 Let's Look Ats recently, there's been kind of a dearth or a lack of new releases lately, on Steam at least, uh, and in the AAA world on consoles. So I've been turning to Desura, an alternative dis distribution platform, uh, to check out some new and interesting stuff. So this is a game that I found on Desura, it just came out a couple days ago, and it's currently in alpha, I believe. It's a work in progress, so know that going in, uh, but it's also offered at a reduced rate of something like $5.74, I think is what I paid for it. Anyway... It's a two-player game, at least in its current state, so I brought along good friend, girlfriend of the channel, Kate, to play with us. Hello. And uh, we're going to explain basically what this game is about. So Super Tower Rush is a competitive, almost like Spelunky type game is probably the easiest way to describe it. If we just go over to the tutorial here, uh, you can get kind of a feel for how things go. So I'm not going to actually read out all of this, because that would be really tedious, especially for Kate, who has heard it like seven times now. But our objective here is to descend to the bottom of the tower using uh, basically WASD jump and some abilities that we come across, as you can see in the bottom left corner. Basically, these are power-ups that we send to the other side of the screen, almost Mario Kart style, to mess with our opponent, and you'll see those as we get into it. Uh, the first person to reach the bottom of the tower wins, or the first person to get 10 floors ahead of their opponent wins as well. Uh, but there are 50 floors, and that's something that we've been playing fairly... We've played like four games now. Yeah. And I don't think we've ever had a game where someone got 10 floors ahead. You did. I got 10 floors ahead once? Yeah, because um, the, the level that I was playing was kind of broken. So oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we keep in mind that a lot of this is work in progress. So this is a game that is intended to have single player at some point. Uh, and it's intended to have uh, like an online multiplayer mode, but single player and multiplayer don't work yet. What does work is hot seat uh, two player multiplayer, which is what we're going to jump into. So we're both playing on the same keyboard here. There is no gamepad support yet. Uh, so Kate is going to be playing as the like orange P2 here. And I'm going to be playing as P1. So obviously for me, I absolutely have to go with Sir Richard, who kind of looks like a Northern Lion in his own right. And as far as we know, these characters don't have any kind of special abilities. Although you said, like, the crocodile seems a little slower. I don't know. I'm just amused by this face change. Oh, on, on Aryuku? <laughs> Never noticed that before, actually. Perhaps that's why he's a question mark. I thought that was just, like, a work in progress, like, uh, sprite, but or a work in progress portrait. But yeah, anyway. So we're going to have Sir Richard against uh, Sally here. So yes, this is all done on the same keyboard. This is just reiterating what we did before. We can both cue in or whatever here. Uh, so Three, I'm... two, one, go! Alright, so I'm using WASD. I'm on the left. And Kate is using the arrow keys. We also have like a positive, like an A and B button. Uh, that aren't don't really get used for too much. Oh my god, what have you done? Wind. That wind is the most annoying power-up. We're probably going to do like a best of three here in this video to show off. Because there is a little bit of variety. So you can see our like our level at the very top of the screen. Uh, but you can also see how we are doing individually. I, I understand this is probably going to be a pretty hard video to watch. Uh, oh, that is the worst power of the one that creates these, like, asshole leeches. Oh, I dropped on the spikes. Oh, uh, but yeah, as I was saying, it kind of sucks there's no gamepad support right now, because right now we're kind of, like, uncomfortably cramped into this setup. Like, we're both right next to each other, which is, you know, okay, considering the nature of our relationship. It's not like me and Fox would be crammed next to each other or anything <laughs> like that. I would actually like to see that. I bet you would. Oh, you've reversed my controls. Uh, but it, it's kind of annoying, like I much would have preferred either two controllers or like the ability to have, oh fuck, uh, a controller and a keyboard active at the same time. But again, this is all still work in progress. Uh, I've been following the developer on Twitter for, you know, a couple of hours now as I prepare to get ready to do this video. And the uh, single player mode is indeed coming in the next update, followed by the online multiplayer mode. Which is going to be interesting to see because this is very much uh, like a very simple work in progress now. But uh, I've been having a decent amount of fun with it so far. I, I got to explain, by the way. You're, you're kicking my ass right now. Well, you're one floor up, but uh, you're, you're definitely getting the better of me overall, I would say. But the thing is, everything goes well, and then there will be, like, one room where you just can't get by. Yeah. So it's definitely, it's not like Spelunky in the sense that, uh, you know, uh, like, we're, it's roguelike, or there's incredibly difficult elements that we're going to be facing on a regular Holy basis. Holy crap. It's, um, oh, that, I can't Thanks, even get through there. Ryan, yeah. for all the... Basically just, oh my Can god. I you see <laughs> my screen? So what I did was I, I got that power up. Then you get these coins, as you have seen so far. They're uh, still here. You can use these coins to modify the power-ups that you get. So normally it's just like a, a pretty short duration effect uh, on each power-up. So you saw that I had spawned like some leeches for her to take care of. Uh, but by using five coins and the Q button, which is the A button for me. Oh god, I'm trapped as hell. Uh, you can kind of increase the duration. By the way, you can dig downwards uh, if, if you ever get stuck in a situation like I'm in right now and I'm just hemorrhaging coins, basically. Here we go. Yeah, you can use the Q key for five coins to kind of uh, increase the duration of the effect that you're sending on your opponent. 
Oh man, you got so far ahead of me. How did that happen? Or you can use the uh, E key to disable the effect that they're sending on you. But you have to disable it before the uh, floor where it would actually be beneficial. Oh my god, I have to dig straight down here. Okay, so you're three floors ahead. I don't think anyone's going to win by getting ten floors ahead in this run right here. Because we're fairly close together. Oh I mean, god. Str stranger things have happened. Oh god. I think it lasts longer if you modify it. But I don't have any coins because I keep getting hit by these arrow traps. I don't even know All how right. to do it. It's gonna get close. This is where things get interesting because it starts like being pretty easy. Then they introduce those enemies, and then they introduce the arrow traps, and then it basically becomes Super Meat Boy, <laughs> which is obviously gonna make things very. Ah, oh, it was so close. What is this? Fairly difficult. Um, you sometimes want to employ alternative strategies on these levels. For example, like a dig heavy strategy. Like I think we're both doing right now. By the way, if there's any kind of keyboard noise, I apologize. This is kind of a the nature of the beast when you're dealing with. Uh, a double keyboarded game like this I'm where both lose. people are you think so are you trapped on a level it's, it was very close the, of cl uh, trapped uh, we're still really close the, the thing worth noting is that both players get different levels so it's not always to put fair. it frankly fair yes like sometimes like one player can get a really easy level sometimes one player can get a difficult level uh, or and, and, more like impossible or stuff. well you, you should stop complaining you're beating me right now I'm gonna try to sneak down through here. Oh, barely made it. That's all that Super Meat Boy experience that I've had in my life. You know how I see finally. the flame of? What? Like, hot poo. You think this looks like hot poo? Like, flamey poo. I gotta look if in the toilet sometime sense. after you finish, because that sounds positively <laughs> nightmarish. If that makes sense. Okay, so this is the most annoying. Like, the, the fire is the most annoying because it so often just stops you from moving. moving. Uh, and oftentimes there's situations where. You don't see where they are. Yeah, or like your corpses just stack up and it becomes impossible for you to proceed. Again, work in progress. This this game is still very much an alpha. I guess Desura kind of it works similar to Steam Greenlight in some senses where you can have like... Oh man, you're on floor one already. Uh, where you can sometimes run into Done. games that are still in alpha. Alright, I lose, you win. So that's Kate with one score over me. There's not too much more to show off here, but we are going to do like a best of three here just to show off the game. So I don't know, just talking about the impressions so far, by the way, you can see how we've done so far. So she collected way more coins, uh, but you didn't use any, ever? No, I used. It says dash used zero. I don't know why, I used it. I used at least twice. Maybe that's like, maybe it's minus used? Like, did you ever use them to take my powers off of you? That's the only time that I used it. Weird. Maybe it's only the ones you use to modify the powers. Anyway, it's weird. You can tell by this graph how we did. So there was a period, I remember I'm blue and she's red. She got ahead of me for a while. I was ahead of her for a very, very limited amount of time. Uh, and then she basically pulled away starting at like time 100 there, which I'm assuming is seconds. Or, or level 15. Ah, yeah, that's probably an easier way to look at it. Yeah, right around level 15. We both got stuck for a while and then basically you got a lead that I never took back. Uh, but as you can see, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it is seconds down there at the bottom. So each round takes about, you know, two minutes at the maximum. And we're still pretty bad at the game. We're still basically brand new but it's definitely a game that's fairly easy to pick up and play uh like the learning curve is not substantial it's very simple the one thing i do wish is that there was more of like a you like this guy again are you look at the face i like cappy's face man this is my ultimate character right here really I, i'm undefeated with him really yeah i've also never won with him though i didn't even see this guy down here his name is spike yeah you feel like he's pretty more blobby like round, yeah roundy you hear that spike more like roundy. <laughs> <laughs> what about Tiki? Maybe it's the Tiki Trap. Looks of like the Spelunky. Spelunky. It looks like a character from Persona 4 Arena. What? Uh, do we have? Maybe I can. Is this random? <laughs> no, they just don't exist yet. All right, I'm definitely gonna play as Cappy. This is the cutest character in the whole game. You're gonna play as this jerk? It's not a jerk. It's cute. He's not Look cute. Cappy face. is cute. Dude, right. what? Go. Yeah, so like, I, oh, I, you know what? I think Cappy might be a little bit faster. Maybe there are like slight differences between these characters. Like, we're going into this not totally sight on scene, but I just found out about this game yesterday, so you'll forgive, hopefully, uh, any kind of mistakes being made. Not to mention the fact that, you know, this game, as I've said like 30 times now, is still being actively developed. Oh, F you! Uh, at, at the present time. But I gotta say, like, in the time that we've spent with it so far, I actually like it a lot. I was hoping that there was a single player mode so that uh, I could try it out on my own and then get good at it and just destroy Kate. Wow, but thanks. It's not the way it ended up working out. I had to actually practice uh, using both players at the same time, which I think is what I'm going to use as my go-to excuse in case we end up losing this one. Or I end up losing this one, I should say. I played way less than you. You have played way less than me. 
But you've got a pretty good track record. Like, I, I think I won our first two, and I've never won a game since. I hate that power so I think much. it's because I learned what to do with it. Because when you first play it, you expect, okay, like, Splunky, you, you like, instead of using, like, a bomb or um, rope, you try to kind of make a make through to go down the level. Yeah. Because it's kind of a nature of kind of platform like this. But then, actually, this game is, like... You try to dig as much as you can, actually, to make a shortest um, pathway. Yeah, it's like most of the time, if you run into like a dead end, it's better to dig than to wait, basically. Oh my god, I just lost like 30 or, points. Or don't risk anything. Just If there's like a monster nearby, just dig. If there's something nearby or like spike nearby, just dig. We do employ slightly different strategies, though. You're, you're definitely dig heavy. I dig now and then, but that I- That face uh, is glitching! Oh, the face- <laughs> Is it? It's <laughs> it was it was glitching. <laughs> oh my god! I keep falling on the spikes. You know, actually, okay, this game reminds me of what? What is that game? Like the digging game that I really like. Mr. Liked. Digger or Mr. Driller? Yeah, Mr. Driller. Yeah, it has a little of Mr. Driller in it with the digging for sure. Except it's not as cute as, cute as Mr. Driller. Not yet. Who made Mr. Driller? Was that Namco? I think so, maybe. Oh my god! I only but it's zero Japanese points. for sure. Yeah. Whereas I believe this is American. I, you know, I'm not even technically sure we're allowed to be showing off this footage right now. But, generally speaking, developers don't get too, or indie developers at least, don't get too bent out of shape about you showing work in progress footage. Because it's a nice little uh, advertising boost, I guess. This is a really close match we've got going on here. And I am, like, I'm not to spoil the surprise, but I'm going to give this game, like, a tentative, positive thumbs up. I know you had a little bit more of a, a mixed opinion on it last night when we were playing. Yeah, because I think I was playing in a way, like in a style that I just wanted to just go down without destroying much of platform because I thought that was like the last choice. Uh, yeah. But actually, that's basically the first choice in this game. <laughs> so you're enjoying it a little bit more now that you've um, got the kind of intricacy I guess of that so. down? But things like the level that I have right now is just kind of pain in the ass. To a certain extent, I do think it would be more... It would seem more legitimately competitive if everybody had exactly the same levels. Yeah, it would be. Because then, like, when you beat someone, you, there would never be an excuse. Like, oh, I had this really hard, like, level 16. Instead, it would just be it's like, like, yeah, well, I also had that Yeah, hard I, I, got, I got through 16. it in two seconds. Oh, you have created a goddamn disaster for me here. I need to. I'm you, losing. You do. I, I've pulled ahead to and a fairly substantial just, lead here. For me, I, I never really had this much of Blade yeah. in the screen. And I don't know if you can see, but, like... Yeah, it's pretty blady down there, that's for it's sure. It's kind of hard <laughs> to do. This is where I always get stuck. These fucking fireballs have such a long tail. Oh, yeah, I, I spammed some leeches on you there. Oh, my. To give myself a little Fuck. bit of Go! leeches way. If that makes sense. Also, I find sometimes, like, if you die a lot, the timer just doesn't factor in anymore. Like, yeah, it's like 3, one, two, 2, 1, three, yeah. and, and instead you can just move right at the start. But it glitches out uh, sometimes. Again... For the 30th time, this is still uh, very much a, a shot. work in progress. <laughs> That's the Northern Lion drinking game for this episode. Yeah. Wait. Alpha stage. Alpha stage. WIP. I got oh, you're gonna beat me. I got the speed boots. Also, sometimes I've found certain terrain is just undiggable. That's good that I beat you, though. I, and I don't mean that... To, oh, I haven't won yet. Let's not get cocky. Um, I don't mean that to be, like, egotistical. What I mean is that it's gonna add some drama to the end of the video. Because it's a best of three, so whoever wins the next one takes the cake. I guess so. And I'm not but trying... But you don't like cake. That's true, I don't like cake. So I'll just take your cake. I guess either way, you're getting cake. I don't want yeah. the cake, though. I want the bragging rights. Okay, and I can eat cake happily. Oh, look at that mid to late game dominance. Just I opening that bubble DNA polymerase style. The level 17 and level 14 was yeah. the one that was like saw yeah, crazy. Yeah, it looks like you got stuck for a while. But I don't want to get in your head or anything. Oh, man, we just started a rematch. No, I want to... Okay, wanna... we, we, we'll exit, we'll exit. Um, Q. <laughs> All right, there you change. Um, I don't want to get in your head, but we know when we played Nintendo Land... Oh, yeah. I established a... a Beat the shit out of you. Excuse me? Beat the shit out you of you. You guys can go back and watch that video. It's immortalized in YouTube for all to see. And oh, I beat well, you in something else as well. For that camera, you oh, know, I have video? to, I have to show you that you're uh, okay. some like good at the game. And when we but played FTL, we play, yeah, my FTL when I was the captain, I got further than you got when you were the captain. Oh, that doesn't matter. Well, we'll see. The I'm whole just... purpose of that game is to beat the final boss, and we both failed. All right. Well, all I'm gonna say is I'm gonna try to keep up my streak of dominance here. 
I think I beat you several times in different games. Off camera, I basically never win. But on camera, this is my element, I guess. No, I'm trying to go easy on you. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I mean... You know, there is the, the meme, Northern Lion sucks at video games, so I appreciate you trying to, you know, pull things back in my favor. Help my self-esteem out. So I don't end up like a Jack Lemon in, uh... Who's that? You know, he's from Glen Gary, Glen Ross, he's an actor. Mm, it's a good movie. Nope. Speed boots are for closers! I don't even like the speed boots, I always just fall on the spikes and get myself <laughs> killed. It's the same reason I can't play Sonic. I'm just like, oh, there's a spike, there's a spike. Sega! <laughs> You're a Sonic fan. I'm a Mario I am. fan. I am. I lived in uh, Sega Genesis. You lived in the Sega Genesis? How big was your Sega Genesis? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Lived every day with it. Ah, uh, yeah. Same with me and my Super Nintendo. This is a close match. You got a little bit of a lead, I gotta say. That face, I don't know why, it looks really similar to your face. It looks similar to my face? Yeah, if it has glasses. I, I guess I could sort of see that. I mean, I can't because it's my own face. I need a mirror or something, but... I, I, there's a couple power-ups we haven't talked about. I'm not sure if you've picked them up and maybe the uh, audience is familiar with them, but have you gotten the, the Mega Shovel yet? Um, I did, but I did not use it because uh, I don't really shovel that much. It's still... Oh, that one doesn't work. It's still slower than running most of the time, but the Mega Shovel basically makes you shovel a lot faster. I have to... That's the only thing that I dispel when you shoot it on me, like, uh, with uh, consistency, is the leech things. Like, they're so annoying. I don't mind the paint thing. Yeah, the paint one's okay. Makes you a little slower sometimes. Oh man, you've gotten out to a lead here, unfortunately. Drum roll, please. <laughs> no, the only as long as you stay fairly close, that's all that matters. Because once it comes down to the spike stages, that's when things really get it's real. It really randomizes. Or like it doesn't. It's not like a matter of the skill that you have. In oh, this game. is it not? I think it is. <sighs> oh, I'm closing in on you. Oh, no, I'm not! Why did I get cocky? Okay. No, I did it again! Keep doing I've it. played with your heart, got lost in the tower, etc., etc. Um, okay, keep it up. So when we get down to the, the teens, the things get tricky. Yeah. I guess it's the tens, not the teens, really. Let's keep it up. All right. It's, oh, that could have been the most beautiful fall in Tower Rush history. This is Super Tower Rush. My bad. It's funny because I've been playing Tower Climb a little bit. I'm not sure if we're ever going to see a video of that, but uh... Wasn't that the one that Josh actually... Yeah, Josh is really into Tower Climb. And he's, he's good at it. I'm absolutely garbage at it. Most of times. In all games. <laughs> in, in all games, yes. Wow. You're just trying to dominate my psyche. Your screen turns red when uh, the other person gets far ahead, which indicates to me that things are going really bad for me right now. No! Dig! Cappy! Is Cappy like Japanese for turtle or something? No, it's just a name. Alright, well, that makes sense. Alright, my screen was briefly not red. That was cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not giving me any openings here. I don't it's want It's like it. some Tiger Woods shit where you get a lead, it's just like GG. <laughs> Once you get up by like one stroke, it's just pure dominance. I think I'm seeing my death of my previous dead body just falling in slow motion. What the hell? Why am I dead? Oh, I'm on the- Oh god, I'm trapped in a prison of lava. This lava shit. Here we go, this is your time to shine, Cappy. Get it done. All of YouTube is watching you. Well, you know, like, less than 1% of YouTube is watching you, but still. Do well. Keep it going. Just fucking dig! Oh. We've got some six and some four here, closing in. I feel like this would be like, obviously it's not at that point yet, but this would be an awesome Ooh, game to have like I a- I could have dropped down for some- God this, damn it! This would be an awesome game to have Please. like a third party caster Don't for like StarCraft do any style. Shit. Excuse me? To me! <laughs> oh my god, the balance. It all hangs in it. Oh, I'm trapped! Oh, you got yes. it. Fuck. Alright, you know, that was well done. I don't think I ever used the shotgun. It's no fair, you have much bigger- Guns than I do. <laughs> but I'm anyway, so that's Super Tower Rush. That was a pretty good match. You pulled away huge in that middle section, but I almost came back. There's a point where we were almost at the same level there. Yeah, almost. Wow. And almost doesn't okay. really cut it, does All it? Right. Where's you, my cake? You win. Where's I'll, my I'll, cake? Get, I'll get you some damn cake. Just relax. Uh, so this is Super Tower Rush in its current state. Here's the thing. There's a trade-off. 
This game's gonna be more expensive when it comes out. I think it's gonna be 10 or 15 bucks. Right now, it's only 574 on Desura. However, you also only get the two-player mode. So it's this weird, like, Catch-22 where I'm like, I can't really recommend it unless you have someone to play it with right now because, like, there's nothing l lamer than, like, one dude handling both <laughs> sides of the screen. <laughs> Believe me, I spent about an hour doing it yesterday. Forever alone. Exactly. Uh, so, I mean, it's, I think a game's cool and I think it's good to get it at a low price because it's eventually going to go up. Uh, and the online multiplayer, I think, could be a lot of fun. I'm not sure if the single player is ever going to be a lot of fun. But it does. It, it kind of has, like, that Mr. Driller competitive element it to does. it. It yeah. does. It really does. It's it, like, don't risk, dig. Exactly. It's it's not like Spelunky in the in the sense that it's, like, roguelike or super difficult. It's more of, like, a fast and furious, just, like, keep going as fast as you can kind of game. Uh, so I would recommend it. Ideally, if you think the game looks interesting and you want to get into the online multiplayer, you also have someone you could play, like, local couch co-op with. Or what do you, It's not really couch co-op if you're on the computer. I guess not. Who has a couch with, like, a keyboard and mouse? I guess if you're playing it on, like, the TV. Anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, that's that's the situation. I'm, just, I'm not going to make a recommendation necessarily. I'm just going to inform you. Super Tower Rush is currently a work in progress, going for around 5 or 6 bucks on Desura. Current version only has two-player hot seat lo uh, local multiplayer. But I, I find it pretty fun. I don't know. It gets you, know you know what I, we should have done? What? Before we actually start this whole video, yeah. we should have just said, like, uh, best out of three and then losers or loser get to do something or winner get to do something yeah and that would have made it actually more intense well i'm glad we didn't do that because i don't know what you would have made me do but i probably don't want to do it buy me a cake obviously i well, can buy you a cake that's fine in any <laughs> case super tower rush cliff notes work in progress desura same price as a footlong sandwich at subway provided you don't like the premium like chicken teriyaki stuff that's my favorite no offense uh <laughs> only has local multiplayer right now uh, but the next update is going to contain single player, and they're working on the uh, online multiplayer as we speak. In any case, uh, I, I like it. I think it's interesting. I think it's uh, a lot of fun in its local mode. Uh, I'm not it's sure how original. that's original. Yeah, it's original. I think it's going to translate well uh, to online multiplayer. I don't know about single player, but uh, consider this my my spotlight of it right now. So thank you for joining me, Kate. Sure. Thank you for handing me my ass on YouTube you know, for thousands of people to see. You know, time to time, we gotta switch it up. Or keep people, it interesting. Yeah, yeah. Or people will know, like, like Kate is going easy on him <laughs> all the time when, when he's recording. Right. I, sometimes I gotta show my skills. That's a good point. Time to time. I'm glad you did it on, on this video. Of course. Anyway. In any case, thank you guys for watching, and again, thank you for joining me, Kate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of response again. No, that's the kind of response you and the audience are getting right now. Oh. Wow. Okay, in any case. Again, for the 18th oh time. Oh my god, just quit it right now. <laughs>